Well, good macho Monday morning. I hope you're well. And on this, golly, May 22nd, we keep pushing and keep pushing. I hope you were with us at the water day and it all went well. So, um, hey, let's continue our look at the Lord's Prayer last week. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. And we talked about that and fleshed out that understanding and that personal relationship and God's holiness and being set apart. And then notice the next step Jesus takes in verse 10. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Notice the pronoun. Not my. Not ours. Your kingdom. Speaking to God. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so that's the focus of prayer. The focus of prayer is God. Okay? And everything that we do and everything we understand. You know, and we are told in scripture to pray for our desires, to petition God on our own behalf and that of others. And so this is not a never pray for yourself tag because that's not scriptural. But if we're not careful, prayer is all about us. And I want this and I need that and oh, help me here. Okay, well, those, those are important and they have their place. But Jesus is leaning into here that true prayer begins in the heart of God and seeking the heart of God and seeking the will of God and making that above everything else. And notice the aspects. Your kingdom come. Now, kingdom would be your dominion, your reign, okay? It would be not only now, it would be in the future. In fact, we were told by Christ that the kingdom of heaven is within you, so God's kingdom is working within us and moving, but we know also the kingdom will come one day. It will come in the second coming of Christ and, and God's judgment and what God's doing. But, but your kingdom come. God, I'm gonna seek your presence. I want your presence to be real. I want your presence to be happening. I want you to be here and moving. Your will be done. So he goes from the, let's say, the large umbrella concept of kingdom and then nails it down to specifics of, of God's will. Not only is God present, not only do we know him in that presence, but your will be done, your, wa your wishes, your wants, those things that, that God, you wanted to accomplish. So this is about the purposes of God. So Jesus says, your kingdom, your reign comes, your purposes be accomplished. And notice, notice the two realms, the realm of earth, the temporary, and the realm of heaven, the eternal. God resides in heaven, obviously owns heaven, to use that phrase, I guess. And, and so his will being there accomplishes all that um, can be done. But God also, though he allows, we're told, Satan to rule to a point, God owns the earth, God is sovereign, and so we want his will done here and working in us. So when I pray this way, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, I'm seeking God and his promises and his purposes. I'm not making it about me. I'm not making it just about my perspective. Because here's what we know as well. When I give God my priority, God in his faithfulness will respond accordingly. You know, we're told, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. That's in Matthew 6, 33. So just down the page a couple of verses. When, when I seek God first and make it about him, not only is he going to draw me to him, and he's going to, to want to do give me a, a desire for him and his resources and who he's about, but he's also going to honor that faithfulness by giving me the desires of my heart which are matching his. So as you pray this week and as you develop your prayer life more, make sure you're centering it on the will and the, the kingdom of God about what he wants to do and, and, and who he's about. And when you and I do that, we'll see him work not only around us, but profoundly through us as well. So I love you. Be, be thinking about that. Be, be pondering that and be considering how you can, can lean into to God in that way and into prayer life in that way. Let me pray for us. Lord, thank you again. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom, your rule, your reign, your will, your purposes, your wishes. May they be done. May they be accomplished. And in the realm of heaven, and then the realm of earth. So Father, I praise you today. I thank you for your love today for each of these men and the blessings that they are. 
And may we resist the temptation to make prayer all about us. And may we lean into and make sure prayer is all about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good week. Thanks.